Okay, back to the constraint game that is this puzzle. Um, how do I want to approach this? I was thinking that I think I need to start just plugging in some numbers and seeing if it ends up invalidating things. Obviously, there's the potential that we could end up going through a long process before it becomes invalid, but we'll see. I, mean, I guess we'll stop if it ends up being too long. So one of the things I was thinking about is this stuff up here. This feels like my most promising area at the moment. So I would like to narrow down this stuff by plugging in some numbers here. So for example, if I put two in here, in fact, let's change color just so it's clear. Let's go to that. Sure, lovely pinkish purplish color. Um, so if this were a two, this would be a six. If that were true, then that can't be a two, that's a four. So that's a two. What does this give me? So that can't be a four, so that's a two or a three, but it can't be a two or a four, so that's a three. That makes this a four or a five. It can't be a four, so it'd have to be a five. Let's draw on top, that's fine, I can still see it. Five. Uh, if this is, if that's a five, then this has to be a six, and that has to be a seven. And that works. Don't think there's any issue with that. But it's that's it's good to know that once I plug in a single number, a lot of it actually falls together. But I don't think I can then go, that doesn't work now. Well, what would it mean for this stuff? Four and five, they're both still fine. Three, two, they're still fine. Doesn't mean a lot for it, does it? One, three, five, that's still fine. Five, seven, one. Unaffected. Hmm, okay, well, that's if I put the two there. If I put the six there, what happens? Uh, this has to be uh, the two, of course. If that's that, then actually all of this is not affected much at all, right? That can still be two of the four. This can still be everything it is, so that doesn't really help very much. So really I wanted the other one to fail, if, if anything. Hmm. What if I stop plugging numbers into like around here somewhere? Let's say this one. If this were a three, that can't be three, so it has to be a two. This would have to be, well, so two's gone, so that's four, and that's six. Wait, is this what I had before? <laughs> it might be, but I might be able to narrow down the other two that don't work, right? So then this is a four, five, or a six. This is not what I had before. Four, five, or six, it could still be any of those. Yes, five, six, seven. But that's a two. But this is still completely open, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's for threes there. What was there in the one that I did before? I don't remember. Two, four, okay, two, three, three, four, okay, four. Could set the four there, so that's a two, so that's a six. It might have been this one. Uh, so something less than four that isn't two, so it's three, it must have been this one. Five and six. Uh, I don't know, actually. Four. Five and six. Oh, wait, did I put a three? No, I could have put a three there, that's fine. Four, wait, four, five and six, so it has to be a five or a six. It could be either. That would make that a six or a seven, which you could be either of. What did I do before? Five. 
didn't I put a six in here and it found out it had to be a certain way? Did I put a two in there? What did I do? I don't remember anymore. I think I must have put a two in there. Two, six. It makes that a four. So that's a three or a two, so it's a three. So that's a four or four. Yeah, okay, this is what I did before. That was when there was a two there. So that's, that's why my five is in that space. Those all seem to work. Huh. What about if I plug, there's two numbers going here. What about those two options? Two here, that means not a lot. Not a lot at all. But three would mean at least something, but not still not a lot. So that would mean three, if that's three, then these are four and five, right? Yes. At which point that is two. That can't be three, so it's four or five. Okay. That can't be... That can't be three, so that's four or five. But that still can still be any of those numbers. And this could still be any of these numbers. Well, no, it couldn't be four anymore. And then it couldn't be five anymore. But it doesn't constrain it anywhere near enough. Oh boy. What am I missing here? Is this interesting at all? I don't think so. That's just a number bigger than two other numbers. That's a lot of possibilities. But I guess I know, so because of this and this, I know one and seven are sorted. They're covered in this column. Right, because there's one there, then there's a seven there, or vice versa. So that's two numbers gone. What other numbers are bigger than two other numbers? Uh, so it's three, four, five, and six. So this is three, four. Oh, I should change back to blue. Three, four, five, six. Okay, there's a four here though. A four is one, one five, which it can't be. Two six, which it can be. Oh wait, I could have done this ages ago then. Well, sort of, I can narrow it down to just two numbers, right? Because it's one five, two six, three seven, but one and seven are done. Yes, oh, I should leave those in. Uh, so it's just two and six. So two, six, six, two. Yeah. Two, six, six, two. Therefore, a lot of this is covered already. So that's gone. Actually, that's still three, four, or five. Uh, but no, it's not. Because if it were three, then these would be two and one. But two and one are done. I can do this, can't I? I can do this entire column. Three, wait. That's true, right? Yes. So it can't be three, and it can't be six. Can it be four? It would have to be three, two, three, one, or two, one. Three, two, three, one, or two, one. All of those include a number. Three, two, three, one that we've already covered, so it can't be four, so it has to be five. Can't be six, why can't it be six? Because six is there. So this is five. Uh, I don't want to get rid of everything. I think that's right. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I, in the, when I was playing before, 
playing. It's, it's, I guess it sounds weird to say playing for a pen and paper puzzle. When I was doing this before, um, I didn't connect those two, I don't think. I didn't think about the fact that they, cons- bas- they basically constrain each other in the same way that these two constrain each other. Right? That's not wrong. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. This feels like good progress then. So what does that mean about these two? It means that they are three and four, right? Because it's not two and one, two and one are already accounted for. So it's three and four in some particular position. So three, four, four, three. I need some way of notating that like these are corresponding to each other. I guess I can see it, but I'd like to show that I, that's how I determined that, rather than me coming to this later and not realizing it's connected to that. I like, might just relate it to something else. That's pretty good, though. However, that only helps me with this. Although that two and six helps me up here, maybe? Uh, if that was six, neither of those could be six, but that's fine. They can be four and five instead, and that'd be three, and that'd be one and two. Yep. Does that happen with these, maybe? Or can I do something else here? Am I? Do I need to keep going with this? Hmm. Don't see how. Because the annoying thing about this being on this row is it doesn't really tell me that much. There could be a two or a six anywhere else in this thing. I'm sure, one of them has to go in here, but the other one could go anywhere. I mean, not quite, like it can't go there because there's not enough numbers bigger than it, but I don't think that's good enough for me. But this might be interesting. So we've got five. What does five mean? It means uh, one, six, or two, seven. So basically that's gonna tell me that. Well, this would tell me which of these two it was, but I wouldn't know which way around they were. Or vice versa. If I knew that was one and six, then I know that's not a six there. So it's a two. I thought that was a breakthrough, but it's not seemingly. Like you can get a whole lot of numbers along one column, but it doesn't help with any of the doesn't help very much with any of the uh, orthogonal rows, but the rows that cross through that space. I guess all rows are orthogonal to all columns. So that wasn't a good way of describing it. Difference of two there. Yeah. What were the options here? One, five, two, six, three, seven. I realize they're not necessarily on that side, but whatever. What's that do about this? This is a one, one, six. If it were one, six, then this would have to be That would specify exactly which one this would have to be because one of the combinations would be crossed out and the other combination would be crossed out, so it would be three and seven left. If it were two, seven, then a different two are crossed out, so it's one, five. Yeah, but none of that helps me. None of that helps me. Maybe this 
ends up affecting this though. Like what are the options here? Let's do it again. Uh, one, five, either three or seven. Like that's not going to affect that. I mean, it will sort of, but five, one, five, one. If I put a two in there, it means the two here can't work. So it's not two and six, it's one, five, or three and seven. One, five, three, or seven. Wait, doesn't that mean that's impossible? Hold on. I put a two in there. Or more specifically, is it a case of whatever I put here, it forces that to be six? One, six. Sorry, force it to be two, I guess. Wait, what do they just have in there? Yes, two. If one and six are here, then this is either one and five, uh, not one and five, and not two and six, it's three and seven. Three and seven, six is here, so two has to go there. Yes. If it's two and, okay, so the, the thing must be that if two and seven are here, six is forced here. No, 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 not at all. Because that would be a one and a five. So this would be a six. What, how did I just work that out? I swear I just had something. What did I do? I think I was two here. Oh, I'm missing one, seven. If I put a two there, can't have a two there. So no two and six. Therefore, we've got a one five here or a three seven. Okay, all that does is determine which set of those two it is. If it's a one five, then we know that's a two seven. If it's a three seven, then we know it's a one six. Yeah, ah, I thought I had something, but no, apparently not. Is there something like if I put a six there, I can't solve this or a two there? Let's switch color again. If I put a six there, what does it mean for this stuff? Well, so we need a number here that's bigger than three. So that would be four, five, but not six and seven, four, five, seven. Four, five, seven. Yes, because they all have two numbers that would be smaller than them. So then that ends up being, something with three numbers bigger than it, that isn't six. Well, okay, that's a few, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? Sure. What does it mean about this stuff? Not much, I don't think. It'd be seven, five, four. Okay, well, if that's Let's say this is seven, then what does that make this? This could be any of those, right? Yeah. Or alternatively, if this is four, then I remember I'm already I'm already uh, bisecting the states here by putting a six in this space. But yeah, if I put a four there, that's a three, two, one. So that has to be a one at that point. So then this has to be something with two numbers bigger than it that isn't any of these. So it has to be a two or a three. Well, no, because I know these have to, oh no, that's fine. They're in a different row. Two and a three. Or a five. Two, three or five. 
it's just too much stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I'm even after bisecting the state graph, there's still too many options. What about if I put the two in though, right? So this number needs to be a number with three bigger than this. So that's one, two, three, or four, but it can't be two anymore. So it's one, three, four. This needs to be a number with two numbers bigger than it. So it could be one, but it can't be two. So three, four, five, yeah, up to five, one, three, four, five. What a beautiful five that is. One, three, four, five. No, I'm not going anywhere here. This is terrible. Would there be an issue with this if I decided what number went in here, maybe? So if this were a one, what are my options for you? First thing would be two is four away from six, is two away from four, is three away from either one, which we can't do, or seven, okay? That's fine. You could also be a three, then it'd be seven, then it'd be five, and then it'd be two, also five. Okay, so all these options seem to work. Or it'd be a four, it can't be a four, five. Sure, five, but it'd have to be a one, so no. Six, two, four, Seven or one, so that be seven. That also works. Five, six, two, four. Is this what I just did? It might be what I just did. Seven, three, not one, five, two. Also fine. So many options. What if this were a seven, though? There's a reason that it can't be a seven. Uh, so this could be a one, that'd be five. That won't be a seven, that'll be a three. And this will be a six. Any reason why that wouldn't work? I don't see why. Let's not forget this is there though. I mean, that's fair. Like right, somehow, all, do, this, do these always end up cutting out every option from here or something? Let's again think about that. Oh, don't get that far back. So, three options are for this space one, two. I need to remember that they're all. This, I don't know. Sure, one, two, three. Wait, it's all possible numbers, isn't it? <laughs> every number has three away from it. Uh, Yeah, what am I doing? There's literally no constraint on there. That's pointless. Huh. Does picking this to be a six do anything interesting up here? Because now that can't be a six, that can't be a six. So we know these are four and five and four and five, so that can't be a four, that has to be a three at that point. So then these have to be two and one. Sure. So we've got one, we need, we're missing two and 
six, no, six is here, two and five, we've got two and what are we missing here? Oh no, we're only missing one. So that's, that, that would be a two at that point. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be forced to be a two. Yes. If, I can't remember what I was doing now. That would be forced to be a two if that were a six. <laughs> sure. Does it get forced to be a six if that's a two? I doubt it. But let's put it in two. It doesn't cross off anything. <laughs> Six could be up here on these two. What are the options for this cell? Not, okay, that's actually worth putting in. Why have we not done that yet? Options for this cell are, well, actually, there's quite a few, aren't there? Well, I know that's not one seven are ruled out. That's basically all I know. Yep. Oh, this this column's annoying me because I've got so much information about it. Would would it suddenly all fall together if I just started putting numbers in? I don't think so, right? Because I don't think deciding that this is one does much. Well, makes that seven, sure. And so what? This is all the same still. I'm really not sure. What was my big re realization here? The fact that those two are connected and therefore influence some of the other stuff. Sure. Well, it influenced that. So seven and one with a four difference somewhere in the in the same row or column is good, which I did here. I did exactly the same thing. Seven and one with a four difference in the same column. I don't have that there. Seven and one. Okay, basically a six difference and a four difference in the same column. Those are resolvable, sort of, kind of. A little bit. I've seen them all basically. Hmm. Does that five affect that two? The problem with two is there's so many options. If I make this a two, 
and this is a three, then this is a four, then this is a five. Then that's another three. That's a four or five. So what? If I make this a three, then this is a two, this is a four, this is a five. Even less help. If I make it a four, then this is a two or a three. Well, that's not a four. So that's a three, so that's a two. So that's a that's still a four or a five. No, it's not a four or five, it's a, it's a five. Um, which does very little for me. If that's a five, then that's, that's a four. So that's a three. So that's a two, four, five. And that does very little for me. <laughs> if these are one and seven, and these are two and six, then and this is a four or a five, then what are these? What's left after one, seven, two, and six to take it out? Uh, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Four, four five's up there as well. That's either a four or a five. These are three, four, five. Can I work something out from that? Three, four, five. Three, four, five. If that were a five, these would be three and four. All that does is turn this into another pair. If this were four, they would be three and five. Yeah. If it was four, they'd be three and five. If it was five, they'd be three and four. Brrr. Does this have any influence on that? There is a four there, but it's just one option of many. There are four, three, and five. Three, four, five, three, four, five, six, two. Ah. What about this thing? Because that is a four. What does that do? That means it's a, it's quite a few things. It's a one, two, three, or a five, six, seven. The only thing it rules out is a four. And the, and the only other thing we rule out is that that's a seven. I guess at some point we have to take into, a, into account the weird thing where like, well, because this square's affected by that and that and this stuff, there's going to be like some double constraints there. Like maybe choosing a two here doesn't break this, but does break that, or or only or it 
what it leaves down here makes that somehow not possible. That wouldn't make sense, that wouldn't work. Making lots of tiny little progress all over the place. This still bothers me up here. But what on earth can I figure out? How do I figure out this stuff? So this is all numbers that have two greater than them. Two numbers greater than them. So five at the most, but it can't be four because of this. You're right here. Yeah. And this is four, five, six, and seven. That's one of those, I mean, not and, or. And then those numbers are just the opposites of those numbers, right? So with the four plus or subtracted. Uh, yeah. Just in a random different order for some reason. I don't know why I did that. So it's less than that. So that's that could be three, four, five, six. That's gonna be two, three, four, five. That's gonna be one, two, three, four. All of these have a number that is two away from them. Every number has something that's two away from it. Basically threes, differences of three and less are kind of annoying. Is it worth noting think with things that can't be a number? Like that can't be seven. That can't be uh, seven. That can't be one. Because one is not greater than any number. So what I know is the sevens aren't down here. But they could be anywhere else. What about along this line, actually? Greater than something. There has to be something greater than it. So it's not seven. This has to have something. This is a minus one. No, not minus one. It can't be one. That's what that means. This is a also minus one. Because it needs something smaller than it. This is also minus one. This is it can't be a well it's two three or four so it's, that's also a minus one so one is in here here or here i guess that's a little bit interesting here here or here oh it's not there as well because we know one so that's also a minus one so one is either here or here can i figure out which one is one which one is what? If that one were one, what would it mean? Well, so this four here, well, okay, that couldn't be a one anymore. That couldn't be a one anymore. This four here couldn't be one and five anymore. It would have to be two, six or two, six or three, seven. Two, six, or three, seven. I should have written that a different way, but whatever. It's only there temporarily. Two, six, three, seven. If it were two and six, what would that mean from here? It would mean 
two and six are gone. So it would have to be five and... Wait, wait, the opposite is gone as well. Five, five. Okay, so then at that point, basically this determines that. If it were two, if it were two and six here, then this would be three and seven. If it were three and seven here, that would be two and six. Two on this side or three on this side. Okay. So basically two, six, three, and seven are up here, I think, guaranteed. Yes. Yes. So that leaves one, two, three, four, and five. So four and five up here, that'd be five and that'd be four. Cool. I would narrow that down at least. Okay. So that does work. What if that's not a one though? Look, this is a one. What's the problem then? Is that one? Problem is, I don't have many other constraints in in that column at all. Well, so basically, well, that could never have been a one anyway. This is an interesting move though, like a bunch of like disconnected arrows actually constrains a row quite a lot. So I might just go and do that somewhere else. Well, it doesn't constrain it, but at least rules out where a certain digit could be. Right, like maybe here I can do something like that. So this has to have something greater than it, so it can't be a seven. And this can't be a seven. So it has to have something greater than it. This can't be a seven, because it has to have something greater than it. This could be, because it's at least something smaller than it. So seven's in one of these positions. Well, it's not there, there, there. Or there. That's quite a lot. What about ones? Yeah, no one's not in that one because there's already a one in that column. So, but uh, something smaller than it, no. Something smaller than it, no. Something smaller than it, it's basically the same. None of those can be one. Da, da, da. One of those is one. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anywhere else I could do that. Somewhere where I've got some constraints. Well, none of these can be one. <laughs> but that especially can't be a one because one can't be greater than anything. What about here? Things that don't have anything greater than them. So that can't be a seven. Well, I know that anyway. I've already written it on. It can't be a seven. It can't be a seven. So seven's here, here, or here. Da, da, da. Three spaces. It's always three spaces I end up with. What about this bit, actually? There's lots of on the big side of the thing. So what's big on the big side is there needs to be something smaller than you. So that can't be a one. Well, we know that already. This can't be a one. That might be a one. This can't be a one. This can't be a one. That leaves three spaces where one could be. Duh, duh, duh. It's always three. <laughs> I 
Actually, what about this row? It's all the, we're all, always on the, the smaller side. So that's seven, right? Yeah, can't be seven, can't be seven, can't be seven. Uh, that can't be a seven because of those two. Anything else? So seven's here, here, or here. Well, that's not a seven because I've narrowed that down there. So seven's here or here. Maybe I can figure that out. If that were a seven, what would it mean for this stuff up here? Or down here, I guess. Five. One, two, three, but it could be other way around. Oh, well, I mean, that would be a one, that would be a seven. Okay. Sure, let's leave that in. What would it mean for this thing up here? That's a three, four, five, or a six. I can't remember how I worked that out. Or I just guess, guess from just the things. Two smaller than them. Yep, three. One bigger than them. And it's not a four. Yep. So then this has to be bigger. So four, four, five, six, or seven. But it can't be a seven now. What if I do this? Ooh. Five, six, or seven. Four, five, six. I don't know. Any issue with that being a seven? Again, that would be a one, seven. I don't see why there would be an issue. This puzzle. Why? Why this puzzle suddenly? Yeah, that thing's basically true about these two fours all the time. Like, there's whatever pair this ends up being determines what pair this will be, right? Well, no, that's not true because there's a bunch of pairs. One five, no, 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 one five or six, uh, four five, two, six, three, seven. One, five, three, six, two, seven. Was it one, two, three? Yeah, that's not true. This is one and six or two and seven. Does that do anything interesting with that at all? Let's see why it would. Or that, I guess. 
it's more likely to do something interesting with that, I think, because the order doesn't matter. So what were they? One, two, six, and seven. One to six, two and seven, yep. So the options for this are one, three. <sighs> no, I can't constrain that at all. Oh, we've got actually three greater thans here. So they need something smaller than them. So that can't be a one. 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 And that can't be a one. So one goes there or there. What would that imply if we did that? Does anything break if I do it? That would have to be a one. So that would have to be, well, I'm sorry. That, if that's a one, this has to be a seven, so that has to be a one. What's that end up doing, if anything? That has to be a three or a five. There could be something where like, some constraint goes across like four different puzzles before like, like the whole deduction covers four different layers, or if not more, I don't know. Because like that one means that that can be a one. So that's a three or a five. But then does that some affect something over here or something like that? Whew. Oops. By this one, one. That would affect what I was doing over here, right? So if that's a one, then none of these are a one. And I think I determined the thing where like, what was it? So that needs to have something smaller than it. So that's not a one, that's not a one, that's not a one. This has something smaller than it, that, that's not a one. And that's not a one because of the seven and one up here. But now, because I've done that, that can't be a one, so that would have to be a one. Right, but that was fine. I don't think there's any issue with that at all. Basically, this couldn't be a one. So it's not one and five, it could be uh it could be two, six, or three, seven. Yep, that's all fine. This is all based on that being, like definitely being a one. It might not be, this might be a one. And then what? Well, then that's not, a f that's not a one and a six, it's a two and a seven, somehow. So then that's not one, three, it's not two, four, it's not, it could be three, five, or four, six. Ah.
I know I already looked at this row, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, that's not, needs something smaller than it, so it can't be a one. This one can't be a one, and it can't be a seven. This one can't be a seven. This one can't be a seven. This one can't be a one. Getting nowhere. So this is either one five, two six or three, seven. And then how many different ways are there of doing two here? There's one, three, which would cut out the one, or the three. One, three would cut out one, five, or three, seven. Two, four would cut out two, six only. Three, five. If this is one and five, then this is something, isn't it? It's not one and six, so it's two and seven. Yes. If this is one and five, then that is two and seven. Yes which tells me a bunch of other stuff. This is two and six, then this is not one and, s hold on. This is one and five, then the one can't really happen here, so it's gonna be two and seven, yep. If it's two and six, then the two can't happen here, so it's one and six. No, that doesn't work. Two and six, two and six here breaks this because six, two, either two or six is going to be in this, right? Two and six here breaks this because I'm either going to be one six or two seven. Yes, okay, that's the thing. So we have one, three, five, seven in here. I need to remember that they're grouped though. Uh, I'll just put the line back in, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So depending on which one I pick here, it decides that one. Yes, I already knew that. If it's one five, then that becomes two seven. If it's three seven, then that becomes one six. And whichever I pick also determines that one, which is gonna determine a bunch of stuff in this column, I think. Mm, I don't think that's necessarily true. Even if I determine those two, so what will that mean for the rest of this? But it maybe helps me with something else along here. If they're one, three, five, seven down here, what does that mean about this? That this is either one, three or five, seven. So I can't use any pairs up here that contain, no, I can, because if it, let's say it's one, five down here, then I can use pairs that contain three or seven. 
Or if it's 3-7 down here, then I can use pairs that contain more than 5. Yes. So that doesn't restrict that very much. Three is not great because basically every number is adjacent to a th is is three away from another number. Four's not terrible. Well, it kind of is. It kind of is. Do I know that three is in one of these three? It, so if it's there, then it's there. If four is here, then these two are gonna be, no, three could be somewhere else. They could be one and two, yep. Ah. One, three, five, seven. Two six. Two six. Do three and four go here and here? For certain, like, is it is this like definitely not five? No, there was definitely. I remember doing a thing that had five there. Yeah. It's going to be something to do with the fact that these two share a two, though. They can't both be two, obviously. But is one of them going to be a two? No, that could be a six. That could be a four. That would still be fine. So it doesn't cancel out two from here. Is one of them going to be... I don't know. I don't know. Four means it's going to be one, five, two, six, three, seven here. Let's say it were one, five. What to do that to do? Then that can't be a five. Well, that can't be a one. So that's a seven. So that's a one. It's going to be a seven. This can't be a five. So it's a four or six. If that can't be a five, then this is all still true. Those three numbers are all smaller than six. Yep. Well, that means that that would have to be a three. Right, because one and five are done, so that would have to be a three. So that would have to be a seven. So that would have to be a four. That would have to be a two. That would have to be a six. So that can't be a two. 
That can't be a five. That can't be a five. It's got three and four and three and four. So that, wait, hold on. If that were four, that can't be a four. That'd be a three, but then, yeah. So that's a three. That's a four. Six. So that's a, that's a, a six, that is that? That's a six and that's a seven. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's nice that that constrains it like that, but that's not necessarily true. Whatever I did at the beginning, one and five, I think. Oh, in fact, yeah, I based this as a the thing I was testing out here. It was like, what if those two are one and five? I wasn't saying which way around they are, but they have done a bunch of deductions based on them being this way around. So, not that. It is interesting though, that does make that three. What else can I say about that? Like what if that's two and six? Then that is still one, three, five. Why is that not, why can't that not be a two? Two, six, oh, well, cause I've already got, no, I don't have two. Two, Six, three, oh, because if I do a two there, then that's a six, so that's, but there's already a six there. If it's, and I can't do the other way around, either six or two. Okay, so that's why two and six are excluded. What about seven? Where's seven gone? Where is seven gone? Is there an issue with seven? Seven. Seven, three, six. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna try a bunch of numbers in here. So it can't be seven, right? Seven's off the table. Six. If that's six, that's two. That means that's seven, so that's not seven. So I'm specifically trying them this way around. That's six, that's two. I'm gonna to have to go through every number though. <laughs> that's seven, that's cut off. Um, so this could still be one, three, five. There's a whole bunch of options here. That can no longer be six. Okay, sure, doesn't help. If that's five, then that is uh, one. So that's seven, that's one. That's not five or one, that's three. This is what I did before, right? That's three. This is necessarily seven then. This is six, uh, not six, four. So that's two. There's just way too many options. I can't do this. How do I make any progress here? How do I make any progress at all? Deciding on any of these doesn't 
help me do any of the others in the same column. Ooh. Should I go through the four options of this, see what happens? Maybe. Maybe? Okay, so one of the options is one and five. If that's the case, then this is two and seven, some way round. Two and seven. If that's two and seven, some way round, then that's a six and that's a two. Okay. That's another six, that's another six. It's four and five, so four and five go there, so that's a three. This feels like what I did already. Four and five go there. So these are two and one. Oh, it's all fine. <sighs> so it's not one and five, then it's three and seven. Three and seven does what? Makes this one and six, which is that two, and that's six. This is going nowhere. <laughs> What do I do? This is absolutely impossible. Four, so it's one five. The other thing about this is I'm really unsure whether I'm going to just make a mistake at some point. I could so easily do that. I need to think about the ones that are in these crossover sections. They're just doing individuals at the same time, right? That's like the key here. Because deciding this affects a bunch of things. Or well, a few things. Is a bunch bigger than a few? I don't know. So like deciding this is one means that that's not one. Great. It means that's seven. Great. It means that's the three and four. Does that affect something over here? Like there's a some there could be some sequence of things like that. Or deciding that's a seven means that's means nothing. It means that's a one. Could this be six and then three? Could four and five be skipped out here entirely? Six and then three. I think so. Six, three, two, one. Yeah. Six, three, two, one. How? 
sin nothing. I guess there are a bunch of constraints on this row, on this column. Like that's bigger than that. But oh, these are all four parts and this has to be smaller than something. So it has to be smaller than something, so it's therefore not seven. That has to be smaller than something, so therefore that's not seven. That could be seven, but so could some of this stuff. Can't constrain anything at all. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Let's do this thing again. This this row was interesting. So it was, this has to be bigger than something. If it has to be bigger than something, it's not a one. It's not a one. It's not a one. It's not a one because of that one up there or that one. So then there's the interesting connection between this space and this space. It is a slightly interesting connection in that if I put one there, that has to be a seven. Is there a reason putting a one here would be a problem? It would force that one to be there. Minus one greater than one. <laughs> is there an issue with that somehow? That can't happen. That can't happen. So we've got five, six, seven. If this is five, then we've got one on the other side, so that can't happen. If this, this is five, that'd be a one, that can't happen. So we've got three and two, and six and seven. Exactly that way around as well, because you need two, okay. Six, three, seven, two, six, three, seven, two. And here, we also wouldn't be able to do a one with a five. So we've also got six, three and seven, two, but these could be either way around. Six, three, seven, two. So six, three, seven, two are in all of these spaces. So we're left with five and four, which go here, I, I did this already. So that would fill that in, five and four. That would mean that couldn't be a four and that couldn't be a four. That'd be a seven, that would have to be a five or a six. Yeah, either would do. Okay. So that doesn't break at all. Does having a one there break something somewhere? That can't be a one, that has to be a seven. So that has to be a one. If that's a one, that's... Well, a one. There could be some long sequence of things. That's not a one, that's a three and a five. Three or a five, I mean. If that's true. What does it mean? What does, what is that? No, I did that. Oh, just by right clicking. Okay, I can change my brush size here. Cool, handy. One minus one. I'm trying to see if this breaks anything. Well, that's not a one and five. Or a five and one, either way around. So that's a two and a six, or a three and a seven. Two and six, three and a seven. I just 
can't see it. I cannot see your next step at all. This was annoying me. Whatever it ends up containing, it can't contain a one or a seven. No, it could. It just determines it contain a one or a seven. It can't contain both. Although, does it end up conflicting with this at the same time? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's do these again. So if this were a one, that's a seven, that's a one. That's about as much as I can tell from there, but then this is a five. So this isn't a five. I should have written these on properly. Should I do that now? Uh, in, in blue. One, three, five, seven. Uh, one, three, five, seven. One, oh. One. Three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Sure. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Is there an immediate reason why any of these could be crossed out straight away? I don't think so. Let's go to that. Pink stuff. There we go. Okay, back to the pink. If you are one, then you are five, and you are seven, and you are one. You aren't five. You could be seven or three. Yep. Seven or three. At which point you are either four or six. So if you're not five, then you are one and five, maybe. Sure. Or three and seven. Wait, if you're not five, then you're not one, okay. Three and seven. Three and seven. Well, then that would force that to be three, and then therefore that to be six. Huh. Yeah, I'm super stuck. Well, okay, let's just do every combination here though, just in case like all of them except one die for some reason. So two, six, I mean this isn't constraining much at all right now, four, nope, uh, one or seven. Well that would determine that, but I can't tell which one. One or seven. Three, seven, five. That means that's not a five. That means that's not a one. Three, so two. So that's a one. That's a seven. What would that mean about this? That would have to be a three, four. Or a six. Yep. Either would do. That can't be a seven, so that can't be a three. 
So we've either got three and seven or five and one. Three, seven, five, one. Three, seven, five, one. If that's a three, then that's a seven. And so this is a one and a six, which means that's a two. Where is this going? <laughs> nowhere, absolutely nowhere. I should have to keep persisting though. Eventually I will find something. Eventually. What do I do with this? What do I do? What do I do with this puzzle? I don't know what to do. sure it's all where to just stop poking them as in and hoping something will come out at all didn't I already do it up here like okay that's the two then that's either a three or four or a four and a five okay that doesn't that putting a two in there really doesn't help putting a three in there does at least something that means that this is a four, and it means that this is a five. But even that doesn't have that much. Is there, is there anywhere I can decide any of these pairs? Like the three and the four, maybe. Is there a reason this can't be a three? That would make that a four, of course. Then along this row, do we have anything interesting going on? Well, that can't be a three, but it could be anything with two numbers less than it. So four, five, six, because it has to have one above it. Four, five, six. Two numbers above it, not a three, one number below. So two, four, five, two, four, five. None of these are heading anywhere. Anywhere at all. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something that I can just work out right now. What are the possible sequences here? Let's just write them down totally separately. So if it's one, then it's 
uh, five, and it's either seven or three. Uh, and then it's four, and then it's six. If it's two, then it is six. There, six. Uh, it's four. Then it's either seven or one. Two, six, four, one. If it's three, so many options. <laughs> Then it is seven minus two, five. There's only one there, okay, two. If it's, it can't be four, five, then we have uh, seven or, no, hold on, if it starts with five, it's one, then three, and then six. Also only one. It makes sense. This is going to be symmetrical. Six. Uh, four away is two. Two away from that is four. Uh, three away from four is either one or seven. Six, two, four, seven. Can I figure out the next one just from this? That's going to be seven. Uh, two. And then there's going to be a shift here. No, I'm doing this wrong. Or well, seven two seven three <laughs> immediately went wrong. Seven three. There's going to be a shift. So it's either one or five. And then four or two. Seven three. Three. Okay. So <laughs> swallow those. That's way too many options. They all have a one and a seven in them. So no matter what, if I figure out that, well, yeah, if I figure out this, then I definitely figure out that. If I figure out this, I narrow this down to like half of the options. this is like effectively like a big square with a one seven in it <laughs> kind of not really with a star well where a seven or a one appears somewhere in it therefore the seven and one for this row are accounted for does that help me with this maybe so three is basically every number would count two, three, four, five, six. Is, is there a number that shows up in every single one of these? Six is very common, but uh, no, not really. It's exactly half, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six of 10. Okay, just over half. Maybe I should solve this puzzle based on chance. Work out what the most probable number is and just put it in. <laughs> That's not a good idea. At all. Two, three, four, five, six, one, five. <sighs> Where am I even going with this? Two, three, That's the that space. I think I was trying to figure out like, could I work out that this has to be a certain number based on like all the options here that this could be? Like if that's a one, then we can't have a one in the thing. In fact, that's gonna be a one or a seven. So that's not possible. Yes. Is there another one with a one and seven in it? Yes. There. Narrowed it down to eight. Okay. Can I narrow it down further actually? Do I have anything else? I've got this. So I can't have any that, no, because it, let's say I had a one and a five there, that's fine. I can just do one of the other things for this. That's totally fine. That doesn't really constrain it much at all. So one and seven. So we, we know we have we know we have one and seven accounted for. 
which I've already taken out of this list for this square here. So if that's the case, then four, two, one, seven, I count four. So the rest of them, six occurs at most, but not two of them. There's no number that occurs in all of them. Right, right, right. So, well, there is some connection between this and that, so maybe there's something that could happen here, right? It's like, okay, in the case that the second number is five, then we narrow this down so that it's not five and one. So wait, five and six. So this isn't six and one. It could be one and six. Da, 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 da. No matter which pair I put around this two, it's not going to suddenly exclude one of these. Well, it will in one direction, but not the other direction. What about numbers that don't appear at all? So like, in this cell, what doesn't appear ever? Well, seven, but we know it's not seven. Mm, no, we don't, no, we don't know that. So, okay, let's do that instead. This cell, what doesn't appear? Let's just use this, one, doesn't appear. Two doesn't appear. Three does, four does, five does, six doesn't appear, and seven doesn't appear. One, two, six, and seven. Here. So they have to go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Okay, better maybe the best question is which column has the most diversity in it? The last one, six, seven, one, two, six, no, six, seven, one. Is it always four numbers? Three, four, five. No, that's three numbers. Three, four, and five. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. That's the one that's got the most numbers, is it? So wait, oh, that's quite good, actually. So one, two, three are taken. Five, six, seven are taken. Wait, how does this help? That means four. It's only four that doesn't go there. I mean... Okay, cool. Well, I know that anyway, because it's... <laughs> well, I didn't know it was only four that couldn't go there. But it is only four that can't go there. So four has to go somewhere else. But there's a million places it could go. No, it can't go there. But it could go there, or there. Or there, or there, or there, in fact. <laughs> Every other place you can go. No, is that true for this one as well? One, two, three, five, six, seven, yeah. Well, of course. Well, yeah, but the important thing is it's only four that can't go there. But that's terrible. It's not at all. Ah, oh, okay. I've tried the c combination lock. It hasn't worked. <laughs> well, next then.